Sample med school interview question and expert response. You are the only ER doctor on duty and are responsible for all decision making during this shift. This night you have two patients rushed into the ER who desperately require a kidney transplant. One patient is an 80-year-old university professor who's suffering from acute kidney failure related to his age. The other patient is a 20-year-old university student who has been brought in for yet another episode of kidney problems related to excessive drinking of alcohol at a school party. There is only one kidney available that matches both patients. Who do you give the kidney to? BMO Expert Response Well, in this situation as the ER physician, I understand that I have to make a very difficult decision. Of course, I am sympathetic and appreciate that both individuals are suffering immensely with pain as a result of their conditions. However, my decision-making will solely be guided by my expertise, clinical experience, and the scientific literature, and not by the personal backgrounds of the patients. Furthermore, the decision as to who receives the kidney will ultimately be based on which of the two gentlemen will benefit most from this transplant and will have a better chance of receiving the kidney and surviving the post-surgical complications. Immediately, if possible, I would place both of the gentlemen on dialysis in order to buy some time so that I can assess the situation further and gather more information. Since in this case there's only one kidney available that matches both patients, then the decision is tougher and will require further investigation. I can, at this point, review both patients' records, take a detailed history, send for appropriate tests, perhaps consult with other colleagues and specialists in the field, and more importantly, examine the current literature on the effects and outcomes of kidney transplants on an 80-year-old with acute renal failure versus those in a 20-year-old, for example. Once I have gathered all of the evidence and objectively analyzed all of the risks and benefits associated with the transplant for both patients, I would then provide the kidney to the individual who, from a scientific and clinical point of view, will have a better chance of receiving the kidney and surviving the post-surgical complications. If that is the young student, then he will be the candidate. Of course, we will have to ensure that he is well-educated about drinking habits so that this does not become a recurrent issue in the future. If it turns out that the older gentleman will have better outcomes, then the kidney will be given to him. Whoever does not receive the kidney will continue to be monitored and maintained in a stable condition until the next available kidney for transplantation. Follow-up question. Let's assume that you do not have any time to do any further tests, nor do you have access to any dialysis machines, and the only information you have are those provided in the prompt. You must make a decision now. What will you do? Who will you give the kidney to? Click the link below to download our expert response and our comprehensive interview prep guide, including additional sample questions.